Very well. Thank you so much for joining me. I'm going to get right into your reading because this is heavy and beautiful at the same time. The first card you have is the Guardian of the Gate. Now, one thing I know about Geminis is that they are the gatekeeper. And what is that too? It's the gatekeeping for those to pass into heaven or those to pass into whatever realm you want to call it, but it is a positive one. Um, it's often depicted about people being able to come into union, which is what this card talks about. Once you pass through this gate or you help someone pass through this gate, they are more likely to uh, be moving towards this union energy. So Geminis, we're starting off here with this new opening, this new opportunity, this passage for you to allow um, a transformation. Now, interestingly enough, we have himself. And the message I get with this, it has a beautiful description, by the way. Um, but the message I get with this is that there may be a masculine, very powerful, very energetic, but this masculine was dancing within and out of passing this gate. They were kind of t twinkling over to the words, the gate or the passage, and then moving back away. So you may have been dealing with someone who was somewhat in and out of your life. For a description of this person, I can say very highly energetic, someone who has dealt with a lot of ups and downs, um, someone who may be psychic or hold shamanic powers is what the card talks about. But more importantly, is that this person is now going to be welcome to moving towards uh, possibly unity with you, some sort of a beautiful energy, okay? And I feel that you are helping this person um, do that. So let's get right into this. I do feel that there's a new opening for you and someone else. Thank you, Sandra, for the new deck of cards. Um, there will be an extended, and if you'd like to book a reading, my info is below. Okay, so let's see what's coming out. I'm just going to pull the cards first, and then I will get into the message. Oh, wow, we have a king and a queen of cups here. Okay. There we go. So Gemini, we're starting with the Knight of Coins, and actually what this is telling me is that there is someone here that is about to finally um, take those steps. This horse is not seated, this or, you know, like standing in stand position. This horse is roaring up, ready to go. Um, this could be you or your person. I personally, by what I'm seeing here, um, it looks as though it's your person and you are coming up as the priestess. It talks about darkness into light, right? Um, well, interestingly enough, actually, it says darkness into darkness, the key of all mystery. But I really feel that this is coming out of the dark energy, holding that space that the other cards talked about to allow this person to come through that passage, okay? Now, with the Queen of Cups and the King of Cups here, right off the bat, I see that this is going to be a union of something remarkable. Like, there's a lot of love here. Now, interestingly enough, we're really specific in the genders today for your reading, I personally feel that this reading is for a feminine that's now allowing space for this masculine to come in. In the King of Cups card, this masculine is not holding the cup yet. And this tells me that you have been waiting, um, ready, holding space for this person to come in. However, they were not, you know. I'm seeing the energies here of Cancer and Gemini in the card, which is really interesting, but I do believe the Queen of Cups does embody um, that energy. So moving forward, and by the way, I just want to mention, it's like this masculine has had their eye on love, but not making the move right? Unlike the queen here. Now, moving forward, we have the 10 of swords. This can be representing that there was fear involved or that there was something that had to come to an end because, and I just saw uh, 441. So in order for this union, this may be your soulmate, this may be your twin flame, there was something that had to come to an end. And I do see the page of wands, which represents taking actual 
action um, or being ready to take that action now, okay? So let's clarify this and see what else is coming up for Gemini. Just pull the cards first. So I'm not sure what card is under there. Um, yeah, okay, well, they both came out. So we take them. So Gemini, this is definitely talking about this person. They are initial maybe M, by the way. Um, of course, it could be W as well, but I'm getting M. Um, this person is going to be coming in. This person is ready to have love. And like more that what I'm getting is ready to accept the love okay now I do see under the priestess you really truly were waiting for this person to figure this out to stop the juggling and to make the move you may have had to wait for this person to leave a situation with the five of pentacles and I'll clarify this more in the extended um but whatever it was, like I said, you were holding space. I'm really getting this energy, Gemini, twin energy. Now, I mean, Geminis are the twins. We're talking about the gatekeepers. Geminis are the gatekeepers from what I've known for quite some time. Um, so there's just a lot of twin energy here in general. But I am getting that you we're waiting for some, like you're waiting for this to happen or waiting for this person to heal. This person that you're dealing with, the masculine energy, um, may have had abandonment issues or may have kind of been lost, okay? It's really interesting because I do pick up Gemini, regardless of what you've gone through, you are coming up as the stronger, uh, more reliable energy here that was waiting, nurturing, and even preparing for this other person to finally make that transition. And it really is happening with the masculine energy, with the wheel of fortune here. This person is finally ready to take that leap, to take that chance, to go for that guidance, to face this deeper knowing that they know. And this person is ready to come out of that Ten of Swords energy. Here we finally have the King of Cups holding that cup. And that's what I was talking about where... They were kind of just looking at it, but this person is now very aware of the truth. And it seems that there was some sort of truth that this person was in an unhappy situation um, because under the truth card is the seven of swords. So I do feel like this person is finally coming to a very um, powerful revelation and it's about taking their power back from whatever was stopping them. And finally, just being honest, dropping everything else and being honest here, okay? Let's get a couple more cards and see what's coming up. This is a beautiful reading, Gemini. Um, I am going to start doing Gemini first and four readings a day for the signs. So for the next three days, they'll be in sequence um, if you're looking for another sign. And yeah, like I said, you can book a reading below. So kisses are coming up, but this is just an overall energy of love shared, unconditional love, giving and receiving affection, falling in love. This is a destined situation here. And I feel that that's part of the reason you've taken so long um, and, you know, waited for this person. I really feel, Gemini, that you knew about this connection all along. You held the space. And now this wild energy. I, I get wild because I feel like you're dealing with someone that's been very high and very low and very back and forth and always doing stuff, very active, but they were not sure about taking that step through the passage, right? And you were holding space for them. Now this union can happen. It's just a very beautiful energy. I actually did have to clear the energy for quite some time. And it may have been your other per your person's energy. It actually did show earlier of possibly people um, basically talking crap behind you and kind of sending you that kind of energy. It could have been in this relationship. Um, so I took some time, meditated, cleansed, and came back. And I said, okay, can we pick up 
the energy for a positive message that I can relate to you without having to search for why the other message was coming up. And I see why. I see that there was a delay in this. I see that there was nervousness. And yeah, there probably was others involved. Okay, so that's, you know, it just is what it is. So let's get a couple more cards for this situation. And then I'm going to move it into the extended. So I'm going to just stick with this because it's the one card that flipped over. This is about spiritual union. I do have to say gems. Um, I'm Wow, we have two, two, and two here. You may have been waiting, but as I said, the passage is about to be yours. It's about to begin. It's about to start. There is something very powerful coming in for you this week. If you would like to join me in the extended and hear more about it, I would love that. Otherwise, this is where I will let you go for now. And I really hope that you have a wonderful week ahead of you. When you book a reading, if you want to sit, to stay unseen, that is absolutely fine. We can do like a phone version of the Zoom call where we don't turn on the cameras because I do understand that some people do really like to maintain absolute privacy or as much as possible. So I hope you all have a great week. This is beautiful. See you soon.